All right, Josh Kerr after his semi-final heat. Walk us through that uh, prelim. Hot. It was nice and hot there today, so, you know, we, we knew it was going to be as soon as we came over, heat kind of just started, so, you know, we kind of came in, the race plan knew it was going to be fast, first lap slowed down a little bit, and then we just had to be in position, six, eight hundred meters to go, and I was, just kind of made my move, and, you know, Vincent, you kind of kept the inside for a bit, and I was okay with that, like, I'm not going to be a dick and, and push in, so, you know, I'm just, I'm here racing, and got through nice and smoothly, so. Each time you do this, does it get easier or harder going through the rounds? <laughs> I don't know, actually, because you never... I forgot what it was like when I came here in 2015, but, or 2016. But, you know, like, in 2016 I had to run a PR to get out of the heat, so, you know, it's, it, it's probably getting easier, you could say that. But, um, you know, I'm not taking it any lighter than, than when I came when I was just a, just a freshman. It has to be tough, though, because you go in the race, it's like everything to lose, nothing to gain. Yeah, exactly. That's what I kind of realized recently, I was like, I'm going to a conference, like, you know, I could win two conference championships here, and then but if I lose, that sucks. If I win, it's like, okay, you've won that. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's definitely a, a, a mindset of that. But, no, I'm here to have fun. I'm here to race, and I'm fit, and I'm happy. So why not show my fitness and show my hard work that I've been doing over the last couple of months? Have you thought about the historical implications of your win if you pull it off? First you know, like, it, 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 all these things just keep getting brought up to me. You know what I mean? Like, the record and, like, Dublin Indoor and like the Emmanuel was able to do that in a New Mexico vest as well. So, you know, there's all these different things that everyone keeps throwing at me. You know, like I'm very happy with all the stuff I'm doing and I don't really think about that side too much. But once I finish being a collegiate, then I'll look back and go, you know, that was something pretty special. You have a bunch of different ways you can win the final, but yeah. your preferred race, what would it be in two days? I want it to be. I want a race to be as exciting as possible for everyone watching, you know, like if that means we go out and try and break the collegiate record, then let's go out and try and break the collegiate record. So, you know, there's a bit of wind out there today, but we get perfect conditions. I want a fast race. I want everyone to be excited about it. And I want people looking around going, you know what, that's pretty cool. So, you know, I want to make sure that everyone who's in that top three, five, eight positions deserve to be there because they've been working hard. I mean, you bringing that, uh, mentioning, even mentioning collegiate record in a video interview right now, people are going to see that and be like, oh my god, is he for real? Uh, I mean, is that something yeah. you're actually thinking about doing? Of course or? it is. You know, like, I never come here to just win championships. I've got three, you know, four, that's one difference. How do I win them? That's what I want. Like, I beat arguably one of the best NCAA athletes there was in Edward Cesare. I came back and did the outdoor a couple of months later with the pressure on my, on my like, shoulders. Indoor, I had a big setback with the DMR and I came back and hit that. You know, I just want to make my experiences just even better and I want to make sure that every single one has that little thing. And uh, I'm fit and I'm ready, so let's try and do something special. And did you have a time, I mean, 335, you ran that earlier this year, yeah. almost 334. Yeah. Did you have a time in mind that you were hoping to hit this by the end of this season? Uh, you know, I was, I was definitely in better than 335 or one shape with Brian Clay. And I've been working well since then, so. You know, uh, we don't know yet, but we just I, want, I just want an exciting race that, that can be looked at and go, wow, you know, like that was, that was, that was really good, so. Yeah, I mean, Ian's fantastic, he really is. He's much more of a strength guy than I am. He's on higher mileage than me, but he, he brings out the best in me and me and him both, like I'm more of a speed guy and I help him with that and he helps me with my strength work. So, you know, it was a shame we didn't get through today, but you know, he's, on paper, 343 guy, and he has the first round of nationals, so that is fantastic. But you know, he's got a lot more to come, and we'll definitely see that in the coming years.